in the background, a tableau, two paintings, two paintings. <clears throat> Actually, I just brought them back from New York. They were on display and uh, I had to bring them back. And I thought I put them up. I'm standing sideways so that you can see the diptych I made and I call it Adam dancing for God. Adam is dancing for God and I'm going to make a little commentary. I, in my, one of my last videos, I talked about defending my work, defending our work, the confrontations that we have with people that are absorbed by the culture of death. They may be rather insignificant, silly little people. Nonetheless, the attacks do come. The attacks arrive. Now, there is a YouTuber that I occasionally comment on and uh, that I quite like, Charles Veach. He's made the uh, YouTubes that are quite uh, wonderful called Indigene, I call Indigenous. Uh, Indigene, same kind of root. And uh, he's uh, confronting people. Now, I believe to, uh, in, my, in, my, in my sort of sense of Veach, there is an art component that's quite strong in his work. And the art component uh, arrives, uh, you, I've talked about Blanche being primarily an artist for me in the way he's presenting the topic of Fukushima and nuclearism. And Charles Veach is actually attacking the culture of death from another angle. But the videos are quite art uh, oriented, I feel. Uh, and I'm sensitive to the art side of things. And when I say defend our work, defend my work, there is no point in making work if you can't defend it. And I think Charles Veach is a great example. And I'm going to play uh, in front of Adam dancing for God. Adam is now dancing for God. God is no longer just giving him a spark. Adam has to dance for God, which is why I turned him right side up like a dead man standing. He was lying down, he was a dead man, now he's standing, he's arisen. Adam was not originally one of the dead men standing, but hey, he, uh, he's no longer around and now he's standing. And uh, I'm gonna play a little snippet from this, about two minutes of Charles Veach going on against a woman who is attacking him. And uh, she's quite the dominatrix in a dark alley, K kind of kind of nuts, 11 in the morning or something, and she's attacking a tall guy, big guy. It turns out in the video she's a stumpy little woman, a dominatrix type. She hasn't gotten laid in a few weeks or months or years, I don't know what, but she's out aggressively attacking an artist working in an alley. And she's taking her life in her hands. If she really thought that Charles was a danger to the community, she would have been the first to go. Now listen to this little encounter. I'm not dad of the year, but I think I'm dad of the month or dad of the week, you know, I've done very well. Hiya. Sorry? Sorry? Oh, it's not obvious, I'm filming. Yeah, I know, but you're on the back of my building. I'm wondering why it's, why you're filming here. Are you being serious? Yeah, I'm being serious. You're asking, I'm just out of public alleyway, and like, I'm in the middle of like shooting a very personal video log, and you're saying this is your building, and you're... Yeah, well, He's very nice. Camera was pointed, sure. I came over here, so it but, be but madam, madam, even if it was pointed at your building, how's that a problem? Tell me. Lots of problems with uh, these vandals, things like that these days around here. So are you serious? I am serious, yeah. Start dancing for With God! With a 2,000 pound camera and the North Face jacket and my <laughs> accent stood here pointing the camera at myself talking. No, but you've, we've spoken. But like, I am deeply offended and I think I would be fully within my rights to turn the camera on you just to show everyone like, you know, like, the, the hater culture we live in. It is, like... This is the madam, madam. Madam, respectful still. Madam, this is. I'm not sure what you're doing. She won't give up. Isn't it obvious what I'm holding a camera He's pointing losing it a bit now. to it? This is the northern quarter. It's meant to be the creative part of Manchester. Basically, what it is, you thought, mm, just get it out. I'll go there and have a go at that guy. She's and like I said, isn't it obvious what I'm doing? You're like, oh, well, it's my yeah, building. Yeah, you were sarcastic straight away, is what you're saying. Sarcastic! Because you have no right to come here and question me, especially when I'm in the, in the middle of doing something creative. You're obviously not. Now she's exposed and running away. And Charlie followed her. That is illegal. I don't with the camera on her. Filming. And he's exposed her. Now I'm going to cut it off here. So Charlie out. gets pissed off now, obviously. Charles gets pissed off with her. Rightfully, too. And uh, 
takes it to the next level of anger where he uh, uses some vulgar language. Understandably, maybe not the way to handle it totally. However, my point is we need to defend our work. Otherwise, we're just dancing. We're just dancing for God. We're dancing. And who is God? And now in my painting in the back, I use the fleur de lis. And it turns out that actually uh, France has a disproportionately high number of nuclear plants all along the middle, up and down of France, along the most, a fault line, a fault line in France, up and down the middle, along the river, I don't know, is, is it the Rhine, the Rhone, or whatever it is. And these plants are just, have popped up like, I don't know, 100, 150, whatever, these nuclear plants. And it's like we are Adam dancing for God. And the culture of death comes out in force. As another example, with this, uh, uh, with Charles's uh, encounter with this dominatrix, trying to, uh, trying to unfold the culture of death on anyone that comes in her path. These are psychopaths. These are total psychopaths. And we are attacked by this mentality, this mediocrity, this conformity on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm fortunately quite isolated. Uh, Charles is uh, in, a, in a big city, Manchester, doing his, uh, doing his art, his videos, his, what he's producing. And he's a little more susceptible, but we all get it. And we need to defend our work. And this is what I love about this. Uh, uh, this is what I love about Veach, because he's not stepping back He's attacking the culture of death through his videos with his work. And uh, I, I have the impression he's quite isolated as well. In many ways, he's, uh, he worked for a magazine called Skinny. Uh, they fired him because he's, uh, as far as a rabble rouser, somebody who confronts the culture of death. We are now Adam dancing for God, no longer a magnificent painting on the Sistine Chapel. No, Adam has been turned around and has become a dancer for God. Do not become a dancer for God, especially a God that is now killing us through nuclear radiation, through these nuclear plants, not even the bombs going off. It's the nuclear plants, and we need to defend our work. This is the most important, crucial time in the history of humanity. The artists have disappeared completely, except for a handful, and I consider Charles Veach an artist, the same way I consider Blanche an artist, making his work, I'm making the work, and we need to defend our work, whether it's through the YouTube channel, whether it's through encounters. I mentioned I did a video. I had an encounter with a person, and uh, it's, it's, it's on a very small level quite often because these people have been inducted, what I call the culture of death the culture of death. And it's being propagated from the top down with the 9-11 uh, conspiracy, with the uh, Bush Blair attacks against everyone on the planet now extended through nuclearism to, to be a complete and total annihilation. Anyway, defend our work. We need to defend our work and not become Adams dancing for God.